the story of the first education entrepreneur whom we are featuring on the show today. India's Silicon Valley, Bangalore is also home to RV College of Engineering with a mission to provide quality education to individuals from every strata of society. This institution was started 6 decades ago by the Rashtriya Shiksha Samiti Trust. Its mission now turned into veracity. Nobody owns anything in this trust. We are all elected members once in 3 years. Absolutely we have no stakes unlike any other institution where it is a proprietary institution. This belongs to general public of 350 members of the trust. It belongs to them. It doesn't belong to any one of us. We are elected once in three years, and general body asks us to take the responsibility and be responsible to the society in uh, building up this institution. With the support of the RSST and a renowned faculty with an optimum mix of formal education and industry experience, RV College of Engineering has made its mark as a hub of science and innovation in India. With over a dozen engineering specializations to offer, the college admits over 1200 students from across the country every year, and almost 95% of them end up getting placed when they pass out. Their USP being frugal innovations that find local solutions to global problems. Faculty have to take the lead again because where I many of you I simply say there is no facility that is where we have to take the lead from frugal innovation. If you simply and these can come from multiple as I said Indian industries have delivered across the world they are looking at Indian industry from whatever limited means they have delivered. Or even if you look at National Innovation Foundation, uneducated people have developed technology relevant to India over two lakh. Uh, products are mentioned in the database of national innovation foundation when multinationals are investing they are not doing it for charity they have their markets are saturated they do not know how to deliver or tailor the product to the indian market so global knowledge and deliver local solution and if they deliver for india it goes to the brick country it goes to the next set of countries also another 20 who are all emerging the confidence and swiftness of this small team in assembling a race car may resemble that of a pit crew And why not? The young team here has in fact created this marvel in their college workshop under the aegis of the Department of Mechanical Engineering. The Ashwa Racing team has brought many laurels to the RV College of Engineering. This is a workshop which we have allotted for Ashwa Racing team. This is basically it's totally a student initiative. The project which was started in the year 2003 and they had the first international appearance in 2005. They went to Australia for the competition. and here the students build a formula type racing car and they take it for it's basically a design competition where the car is evaluated from all the there are static events as well as dynamic events so there are many such activities happening in this college there are there is but this has been the front runner another front runner in propelling growth for rv college of engineering is its r&d lab for nanotechnology being a critical success factor for science the college is leaving no stone unturned to push its doctoral students towards new discoveries for nirupama pursuing a phd in nanotechnology at rv college was a dream that has come true there are 60 others like her in the electronics department that boasts of a handsome staff to student ratio of 1 is to 13 see that every but he has a dream about where they want to study which college they choose so i used to pass by this college every time so i thought one day i'll be there as a student and i got in i got an opportunity to be here uh, with the uh, blessings of god or with the blessings of my guide i'm here and i really feel it is good to be here because a lot of things happening in terms of technology and in terms of um, learning process I feel every day I'm learning new things. Um, I'm with great people working under. But turning dreams into reality comes at a cost, a cost that becomes unsustainable without the right support. Research is an expensive business and the opportunity cost of low growth could be steep. While the members of the Rashtriya Shiksha Samiti Trust have been able to fund growth so far, there are concerns that need attention. we do have problem of funding 
but uh, we are happy that the management supports us. I think uh, government uh, also needs to support private institutions if we talk of research, because without money research is very difficult. Today we are thinking of patenting about 15 products and uh, it is only because of the good work of faculty and students. Government support may come in piecemeal, but for now, the going is good for RB College of Engineering to evangelize education for a growing India.